Now the macroeconomic factors like increase in interest will will most likely will affect affect. Now we have to first understand the components of risk. Risk can be divided into two parts. One is the unsystematic risk. and second is the systematic risk now the systematic risk is also known as the market risk and the unsystematic risk is also known as diversifiable risk or the unique risk now the unsystematic risk are those risks which can be diversified using a portfolio of securities Whereas the systematic risk or the market risk is such a risk which is dependent upon the overall microeconomic factors and it cannot be diversified away. It is totally dependent upon microeconomic factors like interest rate, GDP and all. So if, we, if you plot the risk graph for a security then as we continue to add more and more securities the risk the risk profile of the overall portfolio decreases and it reaches a particular value so this part where the the total risk profile of the portfolio becomes asymptotic to to this parallel line so this part is known as the systematic risk and this part that is the diversifiable risk or the unique risk is known as the unsystematic risk. Usually if a portfolio contains more than 30 securities then the entire unsystematic risk gets diversified away and what is left with is only the systematic risk or the market risk which is dependent upon the macroeconomic factors like increase in interest rate or the GDP. So this question asks that the market uh, the macroeconomic factors like increase in interest rate will most likely affect the diversifiable risk. This is incorrect because diversifiable risk is a part of is actually the other name for the unsystematic risk which can which can be reduced through diversification. Similarly, the unsystematic risk is also incorrect. Hence, the correct option will be option B, that it affects only the market risk. 